Julie McNiven, thanks for coming out to green, a live Expo Green Pavilion today. No problem. Thank you for having me. So have you gone green? Um, yeah, actually, my fiance and I have tried. We live in Santa Monica, so oh, it's like I love Santa Monica. probably one of the easier places to go green because everything is right in front of you. Walking, biking, just get around easy. Yeah, we, we have a we have a Prius, yay. Oh, <laughs> um, great. Yes, we love her very much. She she came with us up here to Sundance. So, oh, even through the snow. Oh, yeah, it was her first snow. We were a little worried about her. We had to scrape ice off her the other day. We're like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> My car was buried in snow. <laughs> I know. And our old, we actually drove, uh, we ended up driving cross country uh, two years ago in a 93 Camry, which we still have, and we're beating her to the ground till she has no more breaths left, but uh, we're happy to have the Prius. And I mean, everything is in walking or biking distance. So we've got some bikes and um, really great um, places to shop in terms of food, where we have the farmer's sure, market sure. every Wednesday and San Sunday and Saturday. And um, the co-op is two blocks away from us and has a lot of products that are local. And, um, you know, Michael even started a little garden on our back porch, which is- Oh, really great, great. So yeah, yeah, we do, we do what we can to, you know, not be so heavy here the walking here is a little bit different through the slush than in santa monica isn't it yeah i mean and it's funny too because like i put so i have like an under a long sleeve undershirt on i have so many layers and i get in here and i'm so hot and then i'm so freezing out there i'm just like i don't know how i grew up in massachusetts i should be used to this but i'm not you lose it when you're in california too long you, your blood thins so quickly <laughs> Yeah. But you're here at Sundance to promote? Um, well, my fiance is actually in um, Obsolidia, which is in the U.S. Dramatic Competition for Feature Films. Uh, it's a great, it's actually, in a way, it's kind of a green film. Um, it's a um, end-of-the-world love story. It's unconventional oh, and quirky. That's kind of romantic but depressing. Well, it leaves you with hope, though. Um, and and that's, it's a really lovely, a lovely piece. And um, uh, I got this, uh, when we... When we first met the um, producer, we actually met him at a Santa Monica coffee shop. Oh, wow. And um, we got the script, and it was just a really beautiful script. And it has a lot of like environmental things and political things kind of woven into it. So, um, so yeah, I suppose it is kind of a green film. And can, will you give me your fiance's full name? Since uh, Michael Blackman Beck. Okay, we'll get a plug in there for him. And I should say, you've had a great year, a great couple of years. You're doing what, Supernatural and Desperate Housewives and all this stuff? Yeah, yeah well, um, I came from New York uh, for Mad Men, so I've done three seasons on Mad Men as Pete Campbell's secretary, Hildy, <laughs> and that's been amazing, and yeah, Supernatural, I actually have um, an episode airing on Thursday, the 4th of February, where I get to do some, some fighting. I get like all the 12-year-old girls are crazy about that show. They're crazy about that show, but not necessarily about me. <laughs> Is that the guys? I don't it's know. The guys, pretty much, yeah. And you're you're engaged, so you know. I am, yeah. So I mean, and it's it's all so much fun. Um, I mean, when am I ever gonna, you know, kick like do fight combat? And I play an angel. I'm like, when am I gonna do that again? So it's just a blast. Are you preparing for a Desperate Housewife? Then does this role get you oh, ready for the real I, thing? I died pretty quickly on Desperate Housewives, oh. so. <laughs> I, like, Hopefully, the marriage will be better. And then my death scene, and I was like, great, and I'm dead. And so, Mad Men, which you started out with, that's been getting so much, people yeah, love that show. Yeah, I mean, the SAG Awards were last night, or two nights ago, I can't remember, and we picked up another, I feel like Hollywood's kind of getting sick of it, <laughs> and the award goes too. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's an amazing show to be a part of, the writing is incredible, and um, I can't be more grateful to that project, project and to the creator for kind of keeping me on board and, and uh, giving me the, the opportunity to do the show. Well, great. Well, congratulations and have fun here at the festival and good luck with the film and all your projects. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.